April 6, 2022, raising a hallelujah in your neighborhoods. Good morning and welcome to Take 5. <clears throat> My name is Siri and I am a volunteer here at River of Life Church. And I am so excited to talk with you today about raising a hallelujah in your neighborhoods by stepping out in kingdom authority through prayer, worship, and intercession. <clears throat> Church, our God is on the move right now in incredible ways. Our God is on the move. But we have an enemy who is out to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Satan is trying to cause disruption and take our focus off of who God is and what he is doing and who we are in Christ. He is trying to cause disruption within our churches, our cities, our neighborhoods, and our homes. Now fear not! For what God has set into motion, no man or foul thing can prevent because he is greater and he has already won. But he calls us to walk out our faith in kingdom authority in Jesus' mighty name. I think pastor said this, church, this is our time. This is what the church does. We pray, we intercede, and we step out in love and obedience and kingdom authority in Jesus' name. Raising a hallelujah through prayer, worship, and intercession is how I am walking out that kingdom authority in my neighborhood. You see, wherever we go, we have authority in Jesus' name. You have authority over your household, over your property, you have authority over your neighborhood and over the city in which you live. So I have been raising a hallelujah, which is raising praises to my God and King in my neighborhood in my city. How do I do that? I worship. I drive through my neighborhood and I sing praises to my God and my Savior. For worship is my battle cry. It is my fight song. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, and we do not wage war the way that the world does. We can do nothing on our own, but in Christ Jesus, all things are possible. It is not our voice that the enemy fears, but the presence of the shepherd, the presence of the king who has rendered him defeated. And we are never so close to God as we are when we worship. Because when we worship, our hearts and our focus are on him alone, even as the storms rage around us as they are right now, church. So often he speaks to us in our worship. <laughs> you see, he has our full attention when we worship and our loving devotion. Why wouldn't he use that time to speak to us? So listen while you worship. For we need the Lord's discernment now in this time probably more than ever before. I'll say it again. We need the Lord's discernment in this time of great misinformation. He is the only one who is the same today as he was yesterday and as he will be tomorrow. And he is also the only one who knows the full story of what is going on around us, what is going on within our country, and what is going on within the world. He is the only one who knows the full story. So ask him as you worship how you are to pray over each of these homes in your neighborhood. And you will start to notice that as you drive past these individual homes and ha homes that words and prayers well up and come to mind seemingly out of nowhere, pay attention for that is the Holy Spirit interceding, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. As I drive, I hear cancer, and so I pray for that household. I hear anger and resentment, <clears throat> and so I pray and I bind <clears throat> in Jesus' name. I hear abuse, I hear despair, I hear loneliness and abandonment, and the list goes on and on. If you heard it, you're meant to pray it. You may ask him, well, what if I heard him wrong? <laughs> well, what if you did hear him wrong? What did you lose by praying? What did you lose by practicing listening? By practicing obedience? 
What did they lose by being covered unknowingly in prayer? But what if you heard right and you weren't obedient? What could that family stand to lose? Blessing, covering, provision? Now what if you stepped out in prayer and obedience and you spoke peace in the mighty name of Jesus over your neighborhood and the Spirit brought reprieve, counsel, a canopy of protection and an ark of blessing. What if? Ask, seek, and knock for the next opportunity. Be ready and be alert because the enemy is certainly ready and the enemy is certainly alert. So here's a question. Is your obedience, is your faith in your mighty God an active threat to the strongholds that Satan has in your neighborhoods? Are your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace? It's a question we all have to ask ourselves. And none of us is perfect and none of us is obedient all the time. But in order to correct that, we just need to begin again and start asking him. That's what grace is for. Do you want to see him move? and turn the tides and reap a mighty harvest in this time? I do. So go out in prayer and worship and intercession and raise your hallelujah in your neighborhood. Set your boundary lines and your banners and claim kingdom authority in the mighty name of Jesus. So here's a thought. <clears throat> what if our church, what if River of Life started a movement of prayer, worship, and intercession in each of our individual neighborhoods. Meaning, what if each of us individually went out into our own neighborhoods and raised a hallelujah in unison with everyone else in our church? Can you imagine what a blessed place Elk River could be? Hmm. I just wanna pray now. Oh, Father, I worship you. And I pray for our neighborhoods and our cities, a canopy of protection and an ark of blessing. I pray that you would send your mighty angels to war on our behalf. Holy Spirit, we invite you to speak. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would keep pursuing those in our neighborhoods who do not know you. I pray that you would soften their hearts, Father. That they would turn and see that you have been pursuing them all their lives. Help us keep our feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace. I pray for a fresh wind and a fresh fire, Holy Spirit, for believers. I pray for a restoration of faith. Where we need restoring, I pray that you would restore us. Where we need encouragement, I pray that you would encourage us. Father, I pray for your will and your kingdom rule to reign on earth as it is in heaven in this time. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Well, church, don't forget to put on your armor and keep your sword sharp. Raise your hallelujah in your neighborhoods through prayer, worship, and intercession.